So hello, welcome back to the third video. Um, in the last video, you have learned how to code the network for the simulation-based assignment. And in this video, we focus on the demand side. So more specifically, you will learn what changes are required on the demand side when you change from a static assignment to the simulation-based assignment or generally to a dynamic assignment. So first I will load a global layout. Um, a layout can be loaded to restore settings for the window configuration, for the list layout, graphical parameters, and filter settings. And then we go to the demand side. So here in the dynamic assignment, we now consider the dimension of time, and that means a demand needs a demand profile. So in Visum, that is done under demand, demand data. So you can see that our two demand segments, which we will assign later on, do not have a demand time series, because in a static assignment, that is not taken into account. So however, you have here a default standard time series defined, which we will now change to the one that will be needed for the simulation-based assignment. So the assignment will have a duration from seven to nine within a day, and we profile the de demand in 30 minutes interval. So automatically you have um, an equally distributed profile, and we will use that for the very first assignment. So we call that AM flat. So you can see here also that you have different types of standard time series. So the time series by percentages, and there is also a second type uh, where you use several uh, matrices to define the profile. We will come to that later on um, in, the, in the video where we focus on demand calibration. So these standard time series are then allocated to a demand time series. So we will also rename that. And these demand time series can then be allocated to our demand segments. So you can also note that for demand time series, there could be several uh, standard time series allocated. For example, if you have uh, knowledge from empirical data for certain demand strata, let's say home-based work, and again, in the same way, you can define a standard time series. So let's say also here from seven to nine in 30 minutes intervals. So, and if you have, um, as I said, knowledge about the weighting, you can apply that here. Let's say, let's say we start with 20%. 32, 28, and 20 again. And that way um, you can profile your demand. So that means the 20% of demand are equally distributed within these 30 minutes. And also the other percentage values are equally distributed within the 30 minutes um, where they are assigned to. So now you have a second standard time series and in a demand time series, you can essentially combine these two. And that happens uh, based on the combination of zone types. So let's say in that case, we could say from all zones of zone type zero to zones of the same type, we apply the standard time series, the second one and for all zone combinations which are not uh, explicitly listed here um, the default um, 
allocated here applies. So in that way, you can combine different standard time series into one demand time series. For our first assignment, we will use a simple AM flat time series, so a percentage time series over two hours, uh, and we allocate that um, to the demand segments. If you have percentage time series, you can assign here the corresponding demand mattress. So that is essentially all you need to know about profiling demand for the simulation-based assignment. In the next video, we will set up the SBA procedure and define the procedure parameters uh, for the simulation-based assignment for our hybrid use case here.